Big screen. Oh, hi, hi guys. Okay, let's just get this. Oh, no, that's not going to work. This is the new Facebook Live. <laughs> that's as good as it gets. As usual, we're still playing, so bear with us. How's everybody doing on this fabulous Friday? Friday. Cannot tell you how happy that makes me. It's been a week. Okay. It has been a week. <laughs> We're going to open it up and see so we can see as people get here. Um, hopefully someone comes on. And can you guys let us know how the sound is? Because we have a fan going and if the fan's too loud, we need to turn it off. So if someone could let us know that. <laughs> Might want to turn it off anyways. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Okay, we're just getting set up. If you guys have, um, doing great ladies, so it's not too loud. Lisa, hi Lisa. It's not too loud for you then? Uh, Joanna says I can hear you fine. Perfect. Okay. Okay, so they must not hear Perfect. you fan. Because it's actually a heater, because my office is like a nice box, I'm just saying. <laughs> it is. It's it a nice is. box. Okay. Truly. <laughs> All right. So we're just going to get rolling. Um, we are both really guided to do Crystal Grids. It's been coming in for me a lot. You can have, I don't know if you can see that, there's different grids you can actually print. Um, this one I purchased from somebody. Flip it over. It's an owl. Um this one is the world peace grid yeah it's the north pole peace grid from reiki dot reiki.org yep you don't actually have to have those though most of the grids that i do are on the tabletop like i don't use sacred geometry all the time i do occasionally and you can find on coloring pages i think it's don't quote me on this coloring pages dot something there's free sacred geometry. So if you have a resonance with something, you could absolutely use that, um, but it's not necessary. Um, we don't expect, you know, we, we just wanted to show you these were options, but it's not like it's in, like you have to have that to do a Reiki grid or to do a crystal grid. No, yeah. I actually have a friend of mine, her dad, amazing woodworker, he built her a board that is like massive um, it's a, almost the size of an actual card table with a ridge on it about that big. And it's just a big plain board. And that's what she uses to build her own freestyle, if you will, crystal grids. And they're amazing. They are absolutely amazing. Yeah. So we're just going to go through tonight making them, how you do that one way. There's lots of ways to do this, um, giving you options and why we're doing it. And then if you choose to do one or you want to do it at a different time, um, but we can go ahead and connect all of them tonight and, and bring more power and more um, unconditional love, divine love through to it. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you have crystals you want to use, like I have piles sitting here, um, grab those. If you have rocks that mean something to you, river rocks, if you have um, feathers, sage, uh, you can use plant medicine in these grids. I, I, it's called a crystal grid, but that doesn't mean it's strictly crystals. No, and my friend that I was just telling about on her board, she is very much a woodland person. She's very super earthy and very connected to uh, Mother Earth. And so as she goes out and about and walks her dogs and she takes, you know, she goes camping, she walks trails, whatever. As she goes out, as she feels and finds things, she'll pick them up. So sometimes they're twigs, driftwood, pine cones, whatever, rocks whatever it might be even seashells i've seen it. they're amazing but she'll pick them up and then she'll use that to do these amazing grids and the energy that comes off of that is just amazing it's very grounded and but she pours all that healing energy back into um the areas that she found the things in and connects it all that way and um the area where she lives so it it's pretty it's pretty powerful it's amazing it's just amazing and you can even just use if you have one crystal you want to use so i just did this with somebody um we were really called to do this and we took one crystal and crystals are amazing all by themselves they literally yes they're super dense and they're hard and they're beautiful and they're from the earth and they're earthy 
but they have a spirit and they are pure divinity at the center. So they really, especially quartz, but all crystals have the ability to um, be conductors for energy. So they are incredibly powerful energy um, conduits and it's beautiful to utilize them in a lot of different ways, always with pure intention, it's about intention. Um, so we utilized one to send some beautiful energy for specific healing purposes. Um, and you don't have to have Reiki, so I just want to make sure I say that. Like, you can do this with the intention and, and activating it separately from having that, but if you have that as a tool or if you have an energy healing tool, um, crystals by themselves are energy healing. They bring energy, and it's about intention. So, And they're beautiful because they don't just you know, bring the energy through and focus it, they literally can transform it. They can transmute it. They can change it. They are change makers. Their intention is not just to hold energy. They take the energy and then they transport it out wherever the intention is to go. So they're quite magical. Um, Truly. Yeah. Absolutely. Love Truly. them. Absolutely. So if you just have one and you want to do it with one and maybe do a crystal grid later, you can. And then we'll show you with intention, you can just go ahead and connect them all. We can all be connected. So um, I guess before we go much more in, I feel like we need to set sacred space. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Are you good? Yep. <coughs> yep. So you just have everybody get your feet flat on the ground. Connect to your breath, breathing in your nose, love, light, and healing energy. Exhaling out your mouth, all that no longer serves you. You can do this three times. Breathe in. I want you to pull that amazing, beautiful earth energy up through the bottom of your feet. And we're going to just let that fill our bodies as we move up, up to our knees, up to our hips, up to our belly buttons, up to your shoulders, up your neck, filling your head and coming out the top of your head and forming a beautiful ball of light. Doesn't matter what color the energy is, just watch it swirl and step into that ball of light. I want you guys to know that you're safe and protected. In this ball of light, you're going to go up above your house or wherever you may be. Out past the earth. Out to the edge of the galaxy. And you're just going to keep going up until you reach that beautiful white light. I want you to see that beautiful white light and I want you to see it form all the way around all of us like like the globe like in a circle going all the way around connecting into the center of Mother Earth Gaia in this beautiful sacred energy of unconditional love and seeing your energy field on the inside of it and that is part of your energy field, your auric field. And feel as it comes inward in a wave of energy of pure unconditional love into the center of your very being, into your heart space, into the space at the center of your heart that connects you into your true pure essence. Oh, and see yourself with pure white light connection in a 
pillar of light connected all the way to center and all the way up to divinity outside in this ring around and through into you. And know that you're infinitely protected, loved, and connected. And then we're just going to ask man and request that everybody's energy from your physical body, energy body, auric field, all the way out to your golden web, be cleaned and cleared, releasing all negative energy, negative emotions, any and all attachments, sending all of that to the light, and filling all those spaces with love, light, healing energy, and unconditional love. We're also asking that everyone's angels, ancestors, and guides be with you, setting wherever you are a sacred space clearing the entire house apartment building wherever you may be filling it with love light healing energy and unconditional love and any other love and light beings that may choose to be here and assist and guide today they are welcome mm -hmm. say yes to receive and just say yes create it now Oh, bringing in a sacred healing vortex Ooh, to be surrounding us at this time let this be the highest vibrational state in the highest and best way for creating this energy creating this conduit for healing for you for the earth for the collective wherever your intentions are Thank you. And when you're ready, open your eyes. Mm -hmm. Wow, do the messages come through on that one? Holy. So I just have to say, like this, this pressure is at the top of my head. Um, not, not uncomfortable, but it's almost making it difficult to talk. There's so much energy, but it's as if the crystals are speaking and then the masters are speaking. Like there's so much energy right now surrounding you guys and us. Um, <coughs> This is really important, and I don't think we understand as light workers, as healers, as intuitives, whatever words you associate with, um, and all of you that are on here right now are that, or use your word. Mm -hmm. This type of work, like we don't know the impact that it's having right now. Even, you know, we think a prayer, like what is a prayer? Even prayers for healing are so important. And what I'm getting deeply is the spirit realm needs these prayers, needs these focused intentions and healings that even in our busy day, we can take a moment, even if it's just love, a thought of love. It's huge. Absolutely. Like it's huge. It's a wave. It's a wave of creation energy that is connecting us to all points and it's needed. And love is the highest vibration, right? <sighs> and it's also the highest form of healing. So, if nothing else, <laughs> guy cuts you off in the parking lot, bless you. <laughs> Creator, just send them love. <laughs> Fill them with love. Because maybe they're having a bad day. We don't know. We don't know. Yeah. Choose love. As, as much as humanly possible, choose love. Right. Absolutely. All right. So, I'm sure Monique and I have actually never sat down and done grids together. But no. we both, within Reiki, I mean, we teach crystal grids in one way. Mm -hmm. Um... I do very free flow. I teach that way, but I do very free form grids. I mean, I have them everywhere. If you go in that office, there was just two. I have like three at my other office. I have them at home. And I don't, I only have two of these. I do have one of those too. But yeah. so, so I have them everywhere. I don't, you know, we don't need to have that. You don't. You could always use it as a model if you wanted or needed to. I say do it here in two. Into, oh, it is Mercury for great G, many Christmas. <laughs> Do what you are intuitively guided to and use the materials that you're drawn to. Because like with every, so many things, there is no right or wrong. So if you're feeling like, oh, I really want to do one to send healing to specific people and use crystals, do it. 
but then you might be drawn to do another one that's like all the earth materials like I was telling you my friend does with sticks and rocks and feathers and pine cones and whatever else she she happens to pick up do it do what you're guided to it might be a good mix who knows what you're guided to do right absolutely so I like to start with whatever materials you do want to use like mm -hmm. having them all um, sometimes that's an exploration like uh, before I moved, I lived next to the river. So I went down to the river and I would get river rocks. And we had a lot of quartz crystal in the land there. So I actually felt really called to use that quartz crystal specifically. But use what you have. Like I said, if you only have one or you only have four, there's no rule saying you have to have a certain amount. Though numbers are powerful. Sacred geometry is powerful. All these things can add if it's in intentionality. But I would say follow the intuition. Absolutely. So, um, so gather the materials and then, um, so I'm going to actually do one while we're doing this, but like I gather a hybrid a lot. I don't actually need this many and I always have my crystals clear. Like I already cleared them, but, uh, I, I like to use intention to clear crystals, but you can <coughs> use salt, like, um, uh, sea salt. You can, you know, bury them in sea salt, cover them up. You can put them in the sunlight or the moonlight. I don't know. Do you know of any other ways? Um, you like to use? Well, it just depends on the crystals. <laughs> and it's okay to ask and, and trust your intuition. I have some crystals that don't want to be in the sunlight. They prefer the moonlight. Mm -hmm. So full moon, put you know, put them out in the moonlight. Um, I have some that don't want the moonlight. They do want the sunlight. And so I do that as well. Some want to be in salt. And some don't. And so, um, you know, I just essentially ask and then feel the vibration what does that feel like like for instance okay so you're like uh, sometimes people go ask the crystal like <laughs> i picked these up i was using these in a different um grid and i think they still while i have cleansed them i pick them up for this one and i just instantly feel like you yeah, know that's just not right so i'm going to put those down like that's how they're everything has consciousness to a certain extent with the divinity that sits inside them so they're giving you the information from that point um these ones are saying yes these ones feel really good <laughs> super good um so if you haven't already cleansed your crystals if they're not you know ready to go you can in this now moment and we could do this for you too we can set a um we can ask that for them to be cleared if you want. So for anybody who wants your crystal sitting in front of you right now to be cleared of any, and of course, always ask them if they want to be. I know that sounds interesting, but uh, everybody's crystals are feeling, are feeling it. They're all, they're all in. So you, you can just intend for the energy to be released, any negative energy, um, say a prayer for that to happen. For anybody who would like us to cleanse their crystals at this time that they want to use, creator of all that is, it is commanded in the highest and best way that those be cleansed, cleared of any negative energies. Negative emotions. Yep. Negative feelings of any kind. Thought form attachments. Any attachments whatsoever. Release it all into God's light to be healed with love and light. We're just going to ask command and request that all the crystals be filled with love, light, healing energy, mm -hmm. and Creator's unconditional love. Mm -hmm. Just say yes. Create it now. Perfect. Ooh. So, clearing and then mm -hmm. filling them with unconditional love. Um, mm -hmm. Man. Yeah. Anytime you remove something, you need to replace it with something. Because if you don't, that leaves an opening for other things to come in that you probably don't want. So anytime you remove something, you need to replace it. So my go-to um, is love, light, healing, energy, and unconditional love. Which is the highest vibration of the universe, the unconditional love. Absolutely. Yeah. And so by f replacing whatever you pull out with that, it's instantaneous healing. And the command process is something we learned through theta healing mm -hmm. specifically, but intention, intend, intend for the negative and see it go, mm -hmm. intend for the unconditional love and bring it in. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So that's where I always start is with crystals. Um, I also like to purify them in the river or in the water. This is something else I love to do. So sometimes I really feel that with my crystals. I also put them underneath. I have like the Lemurians. Oh, yeah. I'll put them under crystals for clearing. Sometimes that's what they call for. So there's there's a lot of right ways to do this. Okay. There's no wrong way. Correct. That's the, the only, point. The only wrong way is not to. <laughs> I don't know. Do you guys have other ways that you like to do it? Share. I mean, because yeah. this is just um, possibilities. It is by mm. no means the only. No. Um, okay. So. Okay. Mm. You want me to just go through how I do it and then you share how you do it separately or what go do you want to do? No, okay. Go for it. So I always start with a middle. Like I start with the one I'm going to do in the middle. Um, and I usually feel into it, like what wants to be at the middle. And sometimes if I have one that really is like a pillar that goes up, that's one I will choose for that often. Um, my amethyst is really talking to me right now. I mean, this, this, she is beautiful. Like she wants to be at the center. Mm -hmm. You know what? And here's the thing. You can look up what the different crystals mean. You can find out what they are. The truth is they're all beautiful. They do have different intentions based upon a lot of different things, including what they're made up of. Um, but, but just feel it. Which ones want to play? Which ones actually are their purposes to do this? Like, what is that? Rely on that more than anything else. So my amethyst is number one and she wants to be in the middle. So I'm just going to set her in the middle and every step of the way I'm setting the intention that I'm actually hearing that she be the anchor that sits at the center and um, is the conduit for all of it to flow from and to. Um, wow, okay. So she's going to sit at center. And then, you know, I kind of pull these aside. I feel them. Like, it's a very intuitive process for me. I usually love to use the quartz. Quartz is, is really special. Oh, oh, sorry. I don't think that one wants to play. <laughs> Quartz is very so special about, it is so amazing. Um, these are points. Um, they're, they're actually pretty rough. And I like to point when I'm doing, so my grid's intentionality actually is for ooh, the collective, for anybody who is, I'm hearing in, anybody that, that's experiencing um, negative effects, from what's going on globally. I'm gonna actually keep it very broad because mm -hmm. I'm hearing just to keep it broad right now. I do have a grid that's for all my clients who have um, or are dealing with um, COVID right now and different things, but that's what I'm hearing for this one. So because I'm, I'm asking, I'm gonna ask for the energy to go out to people, I'm actually going to put the points outwards. And I'm just gonna, although some of them have dual sided double. and double terminated, but um, I'm going to, for the most part, put the points. And I do like to kind of, symmetry feels good to me. Me too. You don't have to, but I do think sometimes people like to go in a wheel. I like to, I don't like. For me, it's about, because I'm a huge empath, so everything is about the feels for me, right? So how does it feel? And so that's, again, trusting your intuition and doing what you feel guided to do. For me, it's about, does it feel balanced? energetically and then of course does it look balanced with the eye right so that that's where I tend to go I'm, I'm probably a little OCD you know retentive that way but for me it's about mm, eight eight is all about abundance and again then the number piece of it too so for me that's the trifecta for me on on creating any grids that I do um, how does it look balance wise and how does it feel balance wise and then of course numbers and I'm a numbers person so um, I don't ever preset like numbers or anything like that because again with which rocks crystals stones twigs want to be in a grid and which ones don't and I think sometimes it depends on what we're doing the grid for too to be honest uh, yeah, this one's really anchoring some powerful energy. There's lots yeah, of amethyst. Yeah, a lot of amethyst in there. Ooh. Oh, it's what it wants to come out and play. It's a bump street. Can you feel that already? Yes. I know, right? As soon as you put that one down. Boy. Activation. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. Mm. 
Do I want to do these two? So I'm just asking, do I want, nope, they're saying no. nope, that's it. I'm, like you can feel it, I'm nope. Like, please no. <laughs> it's interesting, this one is is really big. So, because this is on her card table in her office, and we're creating this, this is so interesting. Normally, you're not going to move it once you place it, so do no. it where you're doing it, because once you move it, you got to redo and set it up. Um, so I will be apparently resetting this one up, and I'll, I'm going to take this one home. This one feels like it's for home. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yes, it does. Definitely. Oh, maybe this needs to go on the ground under my tree. I heard yes. Okay. So I have oh. some some stones that actually have different... Those are the Reiki healing stones, aren't they? Yeah. Here's one. Oh, wow. Some of them are. Oh, yeah. Okay. So these ones want to play. They're coming in. They're coming hot. Oh. oh. Nope. I wish y'all could feel, and and some of you Ooh. can, push into the energy of this as she's building it. And if, if you're unsure how, I want you to just look at it for, for a moment, really focus in on it, let your eyes absorb all the crystals and stones that she's got here right now. And I want you to close your eyes. Take a deep breath in, release it, Ooh. and then just allow your mind to pull up the picture that you just took of what this grid looks like and all the stones. You'll remember more than you think you do. And then I want you to just kind of push yourself into the energy of the grid. What does that feel like to you? third eye is opening. Personally, I feel a pulse in my third eye as it's like opening wide up. Um, it almost feels like a little bit of pressure. Um, but what does that feel like to you? What does that energy feel like to you? Our bodies will intuitively interpret the energy in a different way. So what does that feel like to you? Dial into that center amethyst. What does that feel like to you? <laughs> so if you're creating your own right now, allow yourself just to, and you might not get a real big hit, but it just feels right to lay it out a certain way. Like it's something that's very artistic and creative about this. Yeah. <sighs> okay, so. Just the waves of energy coming off of this right now. Okay. So I'm actually, something you can do, um, this is pretty activated, I have to tell you right now, because intention is a lot, and as I'm placing, I'm activating in my brain, like quantumly. But you can use, okay, so I have this, and it's a master crystal. It's got master energy, holy cow. Um, but you can use the energy. This one is one I like to use sometimes. You can do a lot of things, honestly. Wand right, there. right. You do this whatever better. works for you. Seriously, I love this one. And you start, and I always feel into it. Some people are very specific about where they start in relation to north, south, east, west, um, in the positioning of them. I ask the crystals where they want me to start. So, um, and I'm hearing right here, the, right here. So I always start at the center. I've already activated it. We've already set the intention, but I'm just going to take a moment. Now, I'm not doing this, am I? Reiki style right now. I'm just activating the crystals at the center of every crystal, just like we took that energy from out and in. At the center, it is a, I'm hearing transporter of divine, mm -hmm. like it is focusing divine energy. Um, really beautiful through that space, that unconditional love space. Like this is purity. So once we intend, they are focusing it. And we're taking those intentions for what we want this for specifically. And I'm, I'm setting the intention that this is flowing. And I start going from the center out, center out, center out, center out, center out, center out. I do like to do it three times. And it feels like three is right this time. Absolutely. Although I will say my Reiki is activated. Ooh, mine too. And as she's doing this, I can feel the energy like ramping up even every time she goes around. Now I'm hearing to bring it out to the outer layers all the way to the edge. Yep. So I'm going to go, oof. 
Ooh, and I'm not yawning because I'm tired, you guys. It's just an energetic release. Oh, holy cow. Okay. Once again, coming from center and out. Now, there is some beauty in doing, so this is number three, sacredness. You know, if, if I'm at home, I might actually burn some sage or some Palo Santo. Mm -hmm. Maybe diffuse my essential oils. Yeah. I think that was three. Oh, they're saying one more time. Okay, we'll do one more. Apparently, we're doing four. We do one more? Nope. Okay. Ooh, okay. So, taking a moment to be in prayer about the intention of this, seeing the energy flow out to the collective for its intention. Always honoring free will with unconditional love that it only helps those that ask, that receive, that are choosing this. Everything always honors free will when you go through unconditional love. It's like a pure unconditional love healing for this. Ooh. And you can spend more time in this space. No, I'm actually seeing this is so interesting. I heard to put it under the tree. And my beautiful tree, it's um, an evergreen. It's asking to join in with the energy of this. And I'm literally seeing grid patterns open up from the earth. Mm -hmm. So if you are connected to trees at all and you have a special tree that you feel like also wants to connect, this is actually feeling like a Mother Earth healing almost. Very like much. they're combining into the healing, which makes sense. I mean, crystals come from the earth. Right, and trees have a root system that connect to other trees. Oh, wow. So bringing that awareness in and that understanding. Oh, thank you, so be it. And I'm seeing angels. Are you seeing those? Oh, I'm seeing all kinds. I Are you getting a message for that? Like, oh. there's something there. I don't know, but I don't know. I can get my eyes open. It's so strong. I'm seeing all um. these angel wings. I think they're adding their en energy to it. So any grid that you create, even if you have one crystal and you choose to create it, they're sending that energy in too. It's all intention. And right now I'm just seeing like... I'm seeing the earth, but I'm seeing that spider web of connections. Like, it's all over. And it encompasses the entire planet. So, like, this grid is con dialed in and connected to the Reiki grids and all of them. Because they all, the energy, like, rushes out and connects so that they are all one. To usher in the healing that is very much needed for our planet and for us to be able to sustain human life. Yeah, yeah, oh my goodness. I'm, I'm seeing the oceans open up right now. It's to restore, balance, and harmonize everything on and in the earth. Uh, balancing the pH levels. Thank you. Um, balancing the iron levels. Everything, everything. Um, transmuting um, harmful things to bring balance and nutrients back into the soil to make it fertile again. Balancing the pH levels in the ocean and um, to restore and help to heal uh, life. Oh, wow. It's interesting because now I'm witnessing, I'm buzzing from head to toe. It's almost as if I'm seeing different energy beings going around and activating grids that other people have wanted to add, that have activated. So it's like connecting them so that we can connect into what they've already created. It's, so it's a healing activation of, of all the connection points. It's a massive dot to dot is what it, it is. is. That's what it looks like. I mean, it's so amazing. <sighs> Okay. Man, that feels good. So, for any of you that want to do this, I'm actually going to do this. Um, so, time is not linear. If you're not doing this right here now and you want to do it later or this weekend or some other time, Perfect. I'm going to set the intention. 
creator of all that is, that if you want, so you choose it with your intention to connect into this grid system, that that happen in the highest and best way at the point of time you set that intention within your heart, that it be activated and that it be set to be activated with all of them, to go out in a healing grid for the earth, for the co collective conscious, with the intention that you set, but to add to the energy of healing. And I'm gonna say with peace and ease. With peace and ease, yes. Always with peace and ease. Mm -hmm. In the highest, in the highest way, with peace and ease, free and without shock or trauma, just allowing everything to happen with ease. Yes. Ooh. Okay. So it is good to charge these every day or however often you feel like you need to. You know, they don't always need to be charged daily, but if you get in the habit of doing it daily, then they're charged. Charge doesn't mean you have to sit here for half an hour. Um, intention, um, feeling, are they still activated? You know, they, they, I believe that once you've activated them, they're activated, but still there's, there is such a positive force in our conscious awareness and the re-stepping into it, right? I call it the refresh. Yes. Just give them a little refresh. Just a little refresh to bring that in. So you can use these grids for so many things. So this is a collective conscious one. Like this is this is this is really that's its intention. You can do it like you can make separate grids for um, if you want to manifest something always in the highest perspective, always honoring free will. Um, this is through unconditional love, but you can do it for intentions. You can do it for um, you know to put people that need healing you can put their the intention that want to go into that um there's really no limit to what you can use these for um to expand on the healing ones for people that need healing um you can do that several different ways actually just by intention and mm -hmm. i mean you can just speak their name as you're activating everything as well. Yeah, you um, don't have to build a new grid every time you add people. You don't. You don't. Um, no. Some people will take a picture of the person, especially if you all have pictures of their family, kids, cousins, whatever. You can actually put put their picture under the center crystal or write their name on a piece of paper and slide it under there as well. Um, I've seen that done. I've actually done that before, too. Um, and I've done them. They don't have to be like elaborate, even. Did you hear that? I've actually done it with a single crystal, and I know it's not technically a grid, but it actually is because my intention, when I took the pieces of paper or a piece of paper and I wrote everybody's name on it that needed healing, I folded it up and I said, My intention when I set this on this paper is that it will directly connect in with all the other grids to bring healing in their highest and best good. And I set it on top of the paper. Boom. It's really all it mm -hmm. takes. So yeah. don't don't limit yourself because the only limitations that we have are the ones that we put on ourselves. All things are possible. Right. Absolutely. So there's a, Donna, absolutely. The outward <coughs> points are significant for sending the energy. Absolutely. But you can, so here's where um, you can have them pointed the other way. Like if I had an intention I was working on, like um, something for my well being, or I wanted to manifest a new car in the highest and best way always, mm, I yes. could put that there. And then I could focus the points inward so that the energy is being received for my intention and my creation. That is possible. It's a beautiful thing to do. So um, it's just what is your intention? And um, also, I believe that this amethyst at the center, if we had focused it into that, it would have been a light beam <laughs> that could go out too. <laughs> That's what she's telling me. So yeah. Um, but yes, yeah, so the pointing outward sends the energy outward. Thank you, Donna. Um, keeps going in and out for me picture pauses i'm sorry I'm darlene i don't know yeah. um i think that's all the energy love clear clear your computer or your phone 
And if you want, yeah. we can. But it'll be recorded in on here. So it you should be. be able to get the replay. Without that, right. you should. And Lisa, I, it does kind of feel, have a medicine wheel feel to me. Um, be, because I feel the energy. It I'm glad I'm super, vortex. it does. I'm mm -hmm. glad I'm super grounded because it does. And just sitting here, I mean, my body, every time oh, I move, totally. my body's responding. And like I said, I have my own pulse in my third eye because it's just whoa, whoa. oh the crystals are saying to me right now they want you to get out of your head about what is right or wrong based upon what people say there are things that are important to understand like intentionality going with love those things but like they literally just sent me a picture they said like a medicine wheel and they said, how about like this? And they showed the vortex of energy and they showed the points actually all facing each other going in a spiral. And they said, this could do amazing things. Now I've never done that. I'm gonna really feel into what that would do, but that feels powerful. It does. And I'm feeling as if almost that's like a mother earth center vortex energy, is that? It's a continuum of energy. It, it's true. Ooh. Ooh, wow. It's truly a circle. There is no end. There is no beginning. It's just continuous. Oh, wow. That feels powerful. That actually almost hurts my third eye, to be honest. <laughs> so I haven't done that, but they're just showing. Make sure you're super grounded should you choose to do that, please. <laughs> but they're saying with peace and ease. Just yes. set the intention for peace and ease. Absolutely. Intention is everything. Peace and ease, mm. highest and best, mm. unconditional love. Let it flow. My head is just right. <laughs> it feels good, but it's just oh. Oh, they're activated. It's so interesting how much the crystal energies are here, and oh, they're they're so. It, so the thing is with crystals. This is also important to understand. Um, and everybody has a different perspective, so pers that's beautiful. Yep. But crystals, they are dense. And they resonate because of the denseness that sits in them with the very dense places inside of us. Mm -hmm. um, yet they are so light, they're infinitely connected to the unconditional love point, the, the highest vibrational point at the same time. So they're working from both points. Um, and they're incredibly powerful. And they're made up of so many different things that they can be working in different levels. Um, in the Taoist tradition, they call it the... Um, you you on level i always have a tough time saying those but um it works on the space of the deepest level um and there's so much though not written about crystals and rocks and um, their use in the materia medica they are powerful healing agents wellness agents so um so much more even than what you'll read about online oh, so yeah. so that's why the intuition piece is so powerful often I will be called to put in like some black um, like tourmaline sometimes like I'll hear add some clearing like like those colors really pull negative energy like they'll release um, they can be really powerful for that um, I'm plugged in can you make sure Shoot. anyways they're amazing that's the point <laughs> okay I gotta make sure I'm plugged in you're on Monique oh and go so <laughs> again there is no right or wrong um it's about setting your intention and the intention of of what are you wanting the crystal grid to, your or your crystal grid or your grid to do because again it doesn't have to be crystals either um what are you wanting it what is the purpose for um and and it's about just setting that ahead of time and then doing what you're intuitively guided. And for me, it's always amazing because at the end of it, I honestly have no idea what it's gonna look like when I get started. Mm -mm. And then when I'm done, it's always like, whoa, That's that is cool. so cool. And I love it for, for several different reasons. And for me, if you really press into yourself too, as you're doing it, you can actually feel your shock, your different chakras being activated as well, mm -hmm. because it's clearing everything, right? Um, but here's the thing: so when I'm done, it's like, wow, I just did that, and I had no clue what that was going to look like because I didn't have that intention set. I had no 
preconceived notion of what I wanted it to look like. I was just going with pure intuitive flow. Pure intuition. Pure intuitive flow. But you always know when that sacral opens because the creativity that flows through is just amazing. Yeah, I'm like feeling almost like I, I catching I'm my breath. Wide open. Yeah. Oh um, yeah. I love the idea of that board that you said your friend has. Because I love the idea. Sometimes you need to move it. Yeah. Oh, and I hate having to move it. Um, and I would love a big board because I do mm. a lot of mine. So here's important. You don't have to have this many crystals. I had one in my office for a long period of time that had, I think, five crystals in it. I have two. One in the middle and one at each direction. Yeah, that's what it had. That's yeah. what it was. And, and it was beautiful and it was focused. And, um, it felt good. So don't feel like, and, and I actually was called to bring in earlier, I was going to bring in some essential oils to use with this too. I decided, don't, yeah. I heard it the last minute. Nope, not yeah. using the oils. Yeah, well, and that's why her dad built her the board so that she could pick it up and move it if she needed to. Oh, Donna, thank you for that. Um, without disturbing it. Yeah, Donna's saying she's not having interruptions, but Lisa is. I think it's just the energy. Well, yeah. and it is Mercury retrograde, which completely messes with communication. So, and, um, it, and it might be so if some of you are having good signal and some aren't, I'd have to say it's probably not our end or it would be everybody. across the board. Yeah. Um, so it will be up on the website. I'm sorry that's happening for you. Yes. Um, it will be on. We'll, we're, it's alive. So it's on Facebook, so it's there. You can yeah. catch it after. Absolutely. Oh, okay. What are we feeling? Other than our hearts going, ooh. I know. You guys, I just want to tell you all, I so appreciate you being here. I'm in such gratitude right now. Absolutely. All of you have such beautiful, shining energy. Like, I can feel it. And the crystals are, like, reaching out to you. Like, they're... Yeah, yeah, I don't know yeah. if you can feel the healing energy that they're bringing, but it's like they're pouring... They're pouring love to you. Oh, and the angels are like, yep. Um, so I just want you to know how much I appreciate you. And thank you so much for being here. Absolutely. And I have absolute, you know, love, gratitude, and appreciation for that as well. For taking this little bit of time with us on a Friday night to, to play and have some fun and possibly learn something. I don't know where everybody's at with this, but... Um, just to share and, um, you know, be with us. But what I'm hearing, the message that I just got was, um, don't get bogged down in the details. Don't get mired in that. That's right. Allow your intuition, trust your intuition, have faith and trust. Know that you're always safe and protected. And just allow the energy, your creativity to flow. And for those, I can hear one person. I don't know who it is, but I'm not really that creative. Oh. Stop it, because you are. Because it's not it's it, it's not about you being creative. It's about allowing, mm. you allowing that energy to flow, which will bring the creativity to you. And by allowing yourself, uh, um, by allowing yourself to be open to the creativity process and that will just flow naturally and you're going to start Ooh. playing with stuff you're going to start feeling stuff yes no whatever oh you feel like you need to be over here however that may look for you when you're done you're going to look down and go whoa i just did that like i just oh yeah i'm yeah. doing big time i just did that and i'm seeing yeah it's and i'm seeing amazing it is and i'm seeing one of you wants to use feathers and is kind of scared to use feathers even though Do use it. them because, and the owl just popped in for me and said, you use those. Oh my goodness. That's, they were gifts. They were gifts to be used. And when you use those, you bring the spirit of it, which has a lot. The owl stands for wisdom. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Whew. Yeah. That's coming through strong. So follow that. There isn't a right or a wrong. There's just just have fun with it. And and I've done some with just stones. I have... Yeah, I used the river stones once. Seriously. I have these little flat polished stones with um, sayings on them like kindness, love. They're... they're and I've, I've filled them all. I've cleared them and filled them. But um, they are... 
inspirational stone. So this one says nurture. <laughs> Go figure. And so I've done them with with just these. Yeah, some of these in here are actually stones. Yeah. Stones are vibrationally super amazing too. Yeah. I mean, like this is not yeah. just for crystals, by the way. Although yeah. quartz is pretty amazing, but yes, um, they're all amazing. So I'm not needing to keep any of them out. I'm no. just saying, um. Quartz, when it comes to directing energy, is particularly really good at it. But the amethyst, yeah. oh, they all are. Yeah. Every single one of these, I can feel the waves of energy. Absolutely. Of no, no pun really intended, but kind of. The quartz are really on point with, with directing that. <laughs> I, That's so funny. I can't help it, but that, it, it was just there. It's yeah. like I had to say it, so there it is. <laughs> it's almost like a bad dad joke. <laughs> okay. Uh... <laughs> I feel like you have something else. Do you have something else? I do. I'm still okay. trying to f figure out what that is entirely. I'm feeling it. I feel like somebody's going to be really nervous about doing this, thinking oh, it's almost jealous. a little witchy-woo, and it's really not. Um, mm. <clears throat> for those that don't know me, I, I'm, I'm a Christian. I grew up in the church and I raised my kids in church. Um, so trust me. Uh, that would be the furthest thing that I would be doing. But, um, you know, and, and here's the other thing too, building grids isn't for everybody. Um, some people aren't called or led to do it and that's okay. Not everybody has to, but for those like Sarah and a lot of my other friends that are led, feel drawn and led to do it quite often, there's nothing wrong with that. Do it that may be one of the jobs that they agreed to do while they were here to connect, have that connectivity and to help connect the energy for healing and growth and ascension uh, globally, right? I've, I've never been super drawn to doing the grids. I've done them. Um, I'll do them when I feel drawn or led to, but it's not really my thing. Um, I love them. I think they're, some of them are just extremely elaborate and gorgeous. I've seen all different kinds of materials. Um, I'll do them when I feel led to. I'm called to do other things, right? So, um, and that's part of my, my thing for being here to bring healing and growth in the ascension process for, for us as a humanity and, and a globe, right? So everybody has their part. So don't, don't be hard on yourself. If you're like, I, I don't know that I ever want to do that. That's okay. That's right. You can still admire the beauty and feel the amazing energy that's coming off of it, right? Mm -hmm. um, and for those of you that are nervous about it, um, ask yourself, why does it make you nervous? Mm -hmm. What? Why is it? Why does that make you nervous? Um, but I'd like to give you guys all a download. Um, again, just say yes to receive if you choose to. It's going to ask command and request. Mm -hmm. That you know how to, when to, that you can and it's possible for you to easily and effortlessly trust your intuition. To know that you're safe and protected. That you know how to allow your creativity to flow. That you know how to have discernment and you do easily when it comes to any materials for a grid. You know how to use them, when to use them, and that you can. And that you can do all of this easily and effortlessly with ease and grace, free and without unhealthy fear mm. or trepidation. We are crystalline. It's part of who we are. Yes. Oh, can you bring in that perspective? Yeah. Okay. Bringing in the perspective and the understanding that we actually have crystalline structures within us. Oh, that we are beautiful divine beings loved infinitely uh, and have the understanding of that through divine in that perspective if you choose to have that say yes and oh. we are connected ultimately yes 
as above, so below with Mother Earth and the Creator, Universe, Spirit, any of that. Yes? Created them. Recently, we have crystals in our spinal cord fluid. Yeah, that is really I heard amazing. about that too. I think that's also why they resonate with us. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Anyways, so you guys have a one. Oh, we got a message. Thank you, Lisa. Yes, thank you. Okay, here's something fun I just thought of. How about if you choose to do one, if oh, you want to, I'm, you post pictures. I, I got that. And then we can just keep on linking them if you want to. And linking them as you want, based upon that. I mean, I know we did the intention; it's going to happen anyways. But let's I want to see. I want to see what you do and your creativity, and yes, see and for me feel all the awesomeness. Yeah. So if you want to share pictures, oh, I would love that. That would be amazing. Yes, at amazing. any point doesn't have to be today. Yep. Could be two weeks from now. That would be amazing. Or a month. Yeah. Because. <clears throat> I know a lot of people change them, right? Like, they'll feel... You can always recharge it. You can always recharge a grid. Um, but I know, like, my friend that I was talking about with the board, sometimes she'll she'll be like, all right, it's time to change it. And so she'll take it all down, clear them all off, and then she'll start a different one. So um, it'd be interesting to see what everybody's looked like. be amazing. Yep. Yes. All right, loveys, have an amazing weekend. Mm. Mm. You are all infinitely loved, and we will talk to you later. Bye-bye. Absolutely. Bye.